And bam, you guys, just like that, we made it over to the Wave Oregon. As you can see, there's few people here, few people there, few people over there. But as soon as I have more space, I'll go ahead and explore with you guys. Hey there you guys, we are still making our way over to the Wave Oregon. It's a couple more minutes away so we'll be there in no time. As we are making our way over to the Wave Oregon, I would like to tell you guys a few things about that place. First of all, where is it located? If you look at a map, this place is located on the shore of the San Francisco Bay. And more precisely, it is located on the northern part of the Marina District. This place is very beautiful. Not only do you get views of the Golden Gate Bridge, but also of Alcatraz. There's also a beach close by, and then there's also a yacht club. I get the feeling that we're gonna get some truly amazing views once we get to the Wave Organ. And uh, you might be wondering where I'm walking through. Let me show you. Check it out, you guys. Today we are walking through the one and only, the magnificent, dun, 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 the Palace of Fine Arts. This beauty right here. The Palace of Fine Arts has to be one of my favorite locations in San Francisco. Not only can you get some truly amazing pictures and video, but the history of this place is really cool. I actually already made a video about the Palace of Fine Arts, you guys. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll leave it in the description down below. Strongly recommend. All right, you guys, we're almost out of this little Palace of Fine Arts area. And as we continue making our way over to the Wave Organ, another question that might come to mind is, what is the wave organ you know to put it in simple terms you guys what the wave organ is it is basically an acoustic sculpture that is activated by the waves coming from the san francisco bay sounds cool right like i said at the beginning this is not your typical attraction it is not as popular as many other locations here in san francisco definitely not as popular as the golden gate bridge nor alcatraz but a lot of people do consider it a hidden gem in this city my hope is that after you guys watch this video today you will see why that's the case all right you guys we're almost there we have to cross this street and we'll be that much closer Just like that you guys we made it across the street in this part of the city you can catch a glimpse to some very very expensive houses those right there but that's neither here nor there so let's keep going i am currently walking on this platform right here i don't even know what to call it but as you walk through it you can get a pretty good view of the harbor check it out all the different yachts are docked in this area as you can see there is a ton of them. This is also where the Yacht Club in San Francisco is located and it only makes sense. I think their office is that one over there. I'm not too sure, but we're gonna walk by as we're making our way to the Wave Oregon. So this is the Yacht Club, you guys. And from this area, you guys, I don't know if you can see that well, but that little dome looking thing in the distance, that is the Palace of Fine Arts. That's actually where we started this little adventure. Check out just the number of yachts and boats that are docked in this harbor, you guys. I'm sure that they're expensive, so I wonder how much money is docked in this place. Crazy. Over here, there is a little lighthouse. That's kind of cute. And over yonder, right over here, that is where the wave organ is located. We're close, guys. Almost there. And bam, you guys, we made it over here to the wave organ. There's a few people and the wind is crazy, so sorry if the sound quality is not the best. As you can see, there's few people here, few people there, few people over there. So uh, I can't show you everything right away just because people are sitting on the benches and on different places. But as soon as I have more space, I'll go ahead and explore with you guys.
the first thing I see is this little plaque over here that tells you a little bit more about this place. More on this later. There's also a few benches. As you can see, there's one right there, another one right there, one right here, and some more this way. And all throughout this place, you will see pipes just like these ones right here. There is another one right here, another one right there, and some more right on top of this bench right here here there's two more right here and a really long one over here check it out it looks like a snake or something pretty cool you guys and if you head over this way let me show you i don't know if you'll be able to see but that over there let me zoom in real quick that right there is the golden gate bridge right now it's a bit hard to see just because of the fog and the sun is just right there but i'm sure that in a different day you could see it way much better if you walk to the right you can get a really good view of alcatraz check that out you can get a really good vantage point from this location strongly recommend for all of you photographers out there and if you turn to the right just a bit more you guys you can get a view of the skyline of the city of san francisco and so you get three in one you guys it can't get any better than that. But if we make our way over to the main attraction right here to the wave organ, I can tell you a little bit more about the history of this place. The wave organ was actually constructed in 1986 by an artist working at the Exploratorium. The Exploratorium, for those of you who are not from San Francisco, is basically the science museum of the city. The artist developed the concept and then a sculpture helped bring his idea into a reality. And another really cool and interesting fact for you guys is that this sculpture right here was actually constructed from tombstone and monument fragments from a demolished 19th century cemetery. It's kind of eerie if you think about it. Maybe the Soso people are still trapped in some of these rocks or something. It just gives you some chills. Anyways you guys let's come back to the pipes and see if we can hear anything. I mean that's kind of the whole point of this place right okay so i'm gonna put the microphone really close to one of these pipes and you tell me if you hear anything did you guys hear anything let me try i i don't think i hear anything at least not anything interesting so the way this works at least uh from the article that i read on this place is that these pipes right here they extend all the way to the bay over here in fact let me show you i think this one is the best example because you can see it from start right here and it goes down 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 and all the way to the bay right there and you can also see these ones right here as you can see it's those right there and it goes all the way down and deeper i don't think you can see all the way to the end from here as you saw the pipes have different lengths so they may Make different sounds when the waves hit them in the article that I read it also said that uh, this is a hit or miss kind of situation uh, it depends a lot on like the tides and whatnot so if you didn't hear anything when you came here don't worry about it it has to be kind of a perfect timing and as you saw I wasn't lucky today I really like how this is set up as you can see the benches are right here really close to the pipes that way you can sit down right here and listen to the sounds that come out of them not only that but you can also enjoy the views from right here so it's a really peaceful experience you guys i am making my way back here just to see if i have any luck with the bridge and i think it looks better than last time at least still not perfect but you can at least see the bridge the fog as you can see it's coming fast but you can still kind of see it on the other hand alcatraz is picture perfect from here check out this beauty
Wow, you guys, that was such a nice experience. I don't know if I mentioned it at the beginning of the video, but this is actually the first time that I make my way out here. And I gotta say, I've been missing out for the past few years. Now, whenever I have friends over and they ask me what to do in the city, this is definitely going on the list. And we thought, you guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed as much as I did. And if you did, I'm gonna ask you to please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more interesting and cool adventure videos just like this one. Always remember to be kind, have an open mind. I'll see you next time.